Hey guys, what's up? Matt here. And today's video is about what I do day to day, week to week, my habits, routines, so that I can set myself up and what I've done to get me to from four to five to six figures in commissions per month, every single month. If you like the content, guys, don't forget to slap like. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and make sure that you watch the entire video. All right, guys, cue the intro. So what is my daily routine? What do I do to get myself psyched up so every day um, so I can earn seven figures in commissions. I'm gonna break it down for you so it's a little bit easier for you to understand. So step one, start the night before. Take the time at the end of the day to look at the calls that you have booked for the next day. Look at the booking, see who you've got, see what's gonna go on. Make sure you send out some reminder messages by email, via text or whatever it may be. If anybody needs to reschedule, try and do it then and there. And then uh, this will allow you to kind of book times in for when you're free. So make sure if anybody needs to reschedule that you do that then and there, because then you'll actually have a bunch of uh, open times in your diary. And that's when the real magic happens, because when you have the open times in your diary, you don't just sit there. You don't just watch Netflix. You do revenue generating activities. Okay. Step two, wake up in the morning. Okay. I'm not a 4.30 AM club guy. I get up around six. All right. We commence the morning routine. Everyone has a different morning routine. I do a few things. I get up, check my emails for any cancellations and any reschedules for the day. I have a shower, have breakfast. I try and keep all of my choices to a minimum like Mr. Steve Jobs here, okay? Only ever wore the same thing because he wanted to keep his choices to a minimum. So I tend to have the same breakfast every single day, very, very similar lunch every single day, et cetera, et cetera. And clothes, like I'm a pretty simple dude. I wear like jeans and a t-shirt or shorts and a t-shirt nearly every single day. And then I have my hats. I love my hats, my hat connoisseur. Step number three, daily huddle or training, team training or education. Always first thing in the morning, we have a check-in every single day to confirm what needs to be done for the day. If there's anything of any importance that's popped up for anyone on the team uh, that we need to sort of get after or get onto. Uh, we, it also allows us to set some expectations. And if anybody needs help or anyone has any conflicts in their diary, then we can help each other out. So that, that's what that is. Step number three is just a really, really simple daily huddle. Um, just so we can touch base with the team. I have a pretty big team, about 24 people on the team. Yeah, and it's growing uh, very, very fast. So we need to make sure that everyone's in a good headspace. Number four is just do the work. I don't have a pre-call routine. Um, I don't believe that you need to get psyched to have a sales call. I have pretty chilled out sales style. Um, I also don't believe that there's like things as like, I mean, I don't know that I don't believe, but flow states and all this kind of bullshit, like, to me, all that stuff, like all that really heavy duty mindset stuff is just a bunch of excuses for people to not do the work or feel like they had an excuse as to why they didn't close somebody. You don't need to be in a fucking flow state. It's just a conversation with somebody like who gives a shit. It's not that hard. All we got to do is go out there and have a process. And if you have a good process, you know, it works. Doesn't matter if you're having a good day or a bad day. It really doesn't have to affect you. Um, especially not your performance in sales. So like, I don't have a pre-call routine. I get asked this shit all the time. I don't have like a meditative technique. I don't have something. I just fucking do the work. Like, it's not that hard, guys. Like, we're not getting shot at. We're not in the fucking Kush Kadir Valley of Afghanistan. We're just in our offices making phone calls. It's pretty cruisy gig. I'm not gonna lie. Then I have lunch. Okay, again, I try and have a very, very similar lunch. Then I usually do a lot of content, podcast, YouTube video, stuff like that. I tend to do that towards the back end of the day. Although today it's 11.53 and I'm doing content. So here we are. So try and do all those kind of tasks that I need to do that are not 100% specifically sales related, but are obviously business stuff. Now, if you're a straight sales guy, this is when I'd be doing follow-ups. This is when I'd be trying to rebook and trying to do like my own lead generation through referrals and all that kind of stuff. Because that's really how you're going to blow up your income. You're going to do, yeah, you're going to be good at what you do, but you need to be out there kind of like getting referrals, calling no shows, calling no sales and developing a pipeline for yourself so that you can actually have a consistency of revenue. Around four o'clock, I knock off for the day. Well, for, 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 I don't knock off for the day, but I take between like four and sort of 8 p.m. off, okay? Because I am in Australia, a lot of my clients are in the US. I do usually have to work about an hour or two each night, okay? I do have two little kids. Um, 
So I book out between four and eight for them. That's enough time to have some fun, run around, wrestle, do all that kind of stuff that we do with the kids, have them dinner, and then do bedtime, okay? And about three nights a week from 8 to 10 p.m., I do calls. There usually be a sales call because if I'm going to set that time aside, I want it to be a revenue generation activity. I'm not going to do like administrative or client meetings during those times. Then I wake up, then I'm about to go to bed, and I do the same thing before I knock off, say 10 p.m., finish the call, make the sale, process the payment, okay, which is usually how it goes. Um, then I, you know, start my, hey, what have I got the next day? Email reminders for everybody, have a look at any open gaps, see where I can put some revenue generation activities in there, and then start the whole process again. I exercise about three times a week. I play golf once a week. It's really, really important that you take time for yourself. Um, with a sales guy, especially like a remote sales guy or a sales guy in general, you can tend to feel guilty when you're not working because like the only way that you can earn revenue is if you're working, okay? So it's important that you realize that you need time for yourself. You need to focus on yourself a little bit. You need to take the time to separate yourself from the job. I love golf for that. Okay, I used to be right into golf and now I'm getting back into it. Just bought a new set of Callaways, Maverick Pros, if you were wondering. Well, I hope that this was good quality content for you to let you know kind of how I structure my days and what I do to be as successful as I possibly can. There is no magic fucking formula, unfortunately. There is no like do this and you will crush the day every single day. All you can do is do your best and realize that as long as you're doing that, you're probably doing okay. All right, guys, don't forget to like, subscribe, check out the podcast, Coffee is for Closers. Check out the Facebook group, link will be in the description. And as always, if you want to give us 25 bucks for your first week of the closing code, you are more than welcome. All right, guys, have a good day. I'm out. Thank you.